Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by the warehouse. My name's Chase and today we're going to be doing a quick review on the Bauer Vapor Apex 2 hockey stick. So we're going to have microfuel 2 shaft dimensions, which are rounded corners, double concave sidewalls, and a smaller overall diameter than the rest of the Bauer lines. And this offers a really nice contouring hold in the hands. Now going into the shaft construction, it's going to be their premium carbon composite using their uh, Textream carbon profile. And that's the checkers that you see all the way in the top of the stick, running all the way into the bottom of the blade. They'll they also use their Elastec resin system, which is one of my personal favorite inventions that they've implemented in their sticks because when you get a nice slash or uh, take a really hard shot to the stick, it creates this little micro fracture and over time that fracture just grows bigger and bigger and that's what happens when you take a random shot sometimes and your stick just shatters off of something small and that's because that crack got too big. So this makes sure that crack stays localized and doesn't spread and it also extends the pop life on it. Uh, you know some of these sticks you're awesome for about a month, month and a half, and they noodle out. This really helps extend that life of the, or the pop life. And then they also use their IntelliSense technology, which is uh, pretty awesome as well and very unique to Bauer. So we have a nice little consistent taper into the blade. This offers a really solid low kick point, perfect for wrist and snapshots. And then where that IntelliSense technology comes prime is that when you take a really hard clapper or one-timer, the top of the handle is a little bit softer. So as you're taking your shot, you're able to tweak the top a little bit and get even more flex and load into it. So it's just going to give you a wicked hard shot. Now getting into the blade, this is where Bauer focused uh, all of their efforts into really improving from that APX. Last year we had a dual density blade, meaning we had one type of foam up top, one type of foam below, and they're fused together. And then after a couple weeks, some pit players were reporting that uh, it would start squeaking, and that's because they would become separated, the two different foams, and they would squeak past each other when you're shooting and passing. So um, not good to see on a $200, $260 stick, but Bauer listened. They really tried to attack that, so they went back to the old X60 days that use a single density foam construction. Uh, this is the AeroSense foam, and uh, they really tried to improve on that X60. They're able to make it stronger without making it stiffer, because when you make it too stiff, decrease increases that puck feel and then also made it more durable. And then they kept going at it. They included a sense layer which on the front and back side you have two layers of carbon fibers and the sense layer is sandwiched in between it. Now it has some really great material properties that help uh, improve puck reception meaning when you catch a pass it really sticks to the blade and it also just the overall feel of when you're stick handling you have a really great idea where that puck's sitting at your blade at all times and then uh, this material the sense layer wraps all the way around from the front to the back and as well as on the edges here so this also helps reduce cracking chipping and uh, premature breakdown and it's not too heavy it really helps to try and balance out the overall weight of the blade as well so now going to the overall look and feel of this stick, definitely like the new color scheme compared to last year's APX. Uh, it's a little more simple, a little darker as well. Now as far as the feel goes, uh, I mean, it, it's a well-balanced stick. I really like the balance point on it. It has a really great weight to it. Uh, they didn't go and try and really improve the overall weight from last year. They come in just about the exact same. Um, they just kind of looked at what they can improve on from that APX. Uh, all the feedback that they got about the shaft was that, you know, they loved it, it was awesome, so they didn't tweak that. Uh, you could really tell they really focused just on that blade. So if you're an X60 user and you came out and you tried that APX and you didn't like it, especially because of how the blade felt, you're really going to like these APX2s. Or if you had, you know, some squeaking problems on that APX, definitely check out the APX2. So for even more information about the Bauer Vapor APX2 hockey stick, be sure to check it out at inlineandicewarehouse.com. And